Hi you guys and welcome back to Frankie and Callie where we take you along in our adventures, film weekly vlogs, and share our goals. Today we are talking about our top four favorite restaurants in the Fort Worth area. Sounds so good already. <laughs> Mm. It is just about dinner time, so we are getting hungry. But the great thing about all four of these restaurants that we are going to share with you is they are budget friendly, so they're not super expensive, but you can get nicer options on those menu, like on the menus too, of course. And they're all like medium casual fancy places as far as dress, so you could sure dress up and go to these and have like a fun brunch date or a fun dinner date to celebrate someone's birthday, but you could also roll up in your athleisure and no one would really care so exactly. we love them we frequent these places all the time and they really are our favorites and we're covering a lot of different categories too so you you have a few different places to try once you're in the area should we kick it off with number one let's do it number one is this is actually our favorite we've when we first came to fort worth this is the first place we tried so it's yeah. just very memorable for us as well mm -hmm. so this one Nostalgic. could be a little little biased but it actually is a very great restaurant mm -hmm. And that is Press Cafe. It's right off the trail. You go on a bike. Um, we have the Trinity Trails that go like 100, Hundreds, over 100 miles. Yeah. yeah. And it's just awesome scenery, mm -hmm. awesome environment. And yeah. that definitely takes our number one spot for brunch. For sure. So you can also go here for lunch and dinner as well. But our favorite is brunch, you guys. If you go, you need to get the avocado toast. Frankie really likes, is it bacon? No, you like their burgers for yeah, lunch. Yeah, yeah, their burgers. Are yeah, good. you really like their burgers. And it is right in like the heart of the cutest little area, like Frankie was saying. So every Saturday they have a farmer's market right outside their little shop. And then there's also free yoga on Saturday mornings in the backyard too. And it's just so cute. And it's really close to these high-end scale shops as well. Like Nina Marcus, Louis Vuitton, Tesla, whatever. So that is so fun. Cause then after lunch, you can just go over there and walk around and you know, walk off some calories so yeah, it's a really fun area mm -hmm. definitely try it out it's so good and it's mainly i don't know if it is like specifically farm to table but that's kind of like the vibe i get really good avocado toast oatmeal pancakes burgers salads sandwiches it's you guys you just you need to go you need to go okay should we go to number two yes let's go number two we are talking about glorious latin cuisine restaurant so good it is our favorite. So good. It is located in the Montgomery Plaza in the West 7th area of Fort Worth and it is just chef's kiss. Oh my god from their they give you free bean dip. Yeah like so bean dip is usually like five dollars at a restaurant. When you go here. When it comes like when you get the chips and salsa it comes with bean dip and it is so good. So like good. we're obsessed. So we go there just for that. But also like the refried beans that come with the meal are also top notch. It's so good. They put some queso fresco on top and oh my god, yeah. it's so good. I would definitely say it's more of a Tex-Mex place, but it's still so good. Like mm -hmm. the flavors, the tortillas, the chips, everything. Like it's just so great. Again, this is a wonderful place to go if you have like a larger party or you want like a special night. Their margaritas are also killer. I will mention that as well. But you could also go at anytime throughout the day and just your at leisure and no one will care but it's so fun it's in the Montgomery Plaza like I said and that's a great area to like go walk around and shop too there's actually not too much for shopping but you could just like walk around and see what there is and it's right next to Target as mm -hmm. well but anything else to add for that yeah just the environment there it's like fancy but you can still have two meals two margaritas yeah under 50 bucks yeah it's awesome so cool let's go to number three and number three is uh, just for my smokehouse kind of people or steakhouse kind of people. Barbecue. Barbecue, definitely. If you're looking for barbecue, is Cooper's Barbecue Pit. Sorry if I'm talking about weird. I just got this in this line. <laughs> I can't really see it, but hopefully it looks really white. So and if nice. he has a lisp, that is why. Mm -hmm. So uh, Cooper's Barbecue Pit it is so good. It is in the stockyards. All that whole area is really cool. Um, I would definitely try that out if you want. Um, it's kind of cafeteria style. Yeah. You go through the grill, you pick out what you want. I always get like half a pound of sausage and a half a pound of brisket. It is just melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. It is so good. There's also like turkey leg and a whole bunch of different cuts of meat, right? Yep. Like for for beef and pork, yeah. Yep, and they have unlimited baked beans, of course. It's Texas. Coleslaw. Like, like your normal Texas things you're gonna find. Mention the price, like how much it is per yeah. meal usually. It's gonna be a, a about a pound of whatever you get is going to be around twenty dollars to twenty five dollars. So, if you're going with a big group or you're paying for a big group, 
be prepared to pay a little bit of a, of a premium for premium Texas meat. So. But you can always bring it home too if you don't eat it all there because they do, exactly. it's really generous. Like the serving sizes are huge. It's also like Frankie said, in the stockyards, which is a super, super fun area to go walk around and see like the Longhorns go down the street every day at 11.30 and 4 p.m. And a whole bunch of different cowboy shops where you can go and get cowboy boots or cowboy hats or even just look at antiques. And there's a whole bunch of different bars and restaurants and really fun hotels. So mm -hmm. definitely capitalize on the area that it is in and just make a day of it. All right, should we move on to the next one? Yep, number four, here we go. Okay, you guys, number four is Tokyo Cafe. This is located on Camp Bowie. And I went there for the first time with my friends a few weeks ago and it is so, so good. We actually went there on a Tuesday night and there was like an hour and a half wait. So we ended up just bringing it back to our apartment and eating it, but you guys, that is how good it is. They have everything from regular sushi, to stir fry, to dumplings, to whatever you could possibly imagine, like bento boxes. It is so, so good and really fresh. I don't know how they do it because, you know, we're in Texas, so we don't have like the ocean next to us, but the quality, it is so good, so fresh, very delicious. Price-wise, it's pretty standard. Like, you know, a roll is anywhere from like five to 10 bucks, depending on what's in it. But, oh, Again, super, you could be casual, you could dress it up, it could be a fun date night when you have parents in town, big group. It is just overall great experience, super, super fun, high quality food, and I really just think you need to go there. It It's really good. It's really, really good. Okay, you guys, that wraps it up. Those are our four favorite restaurants in the Fort Worth area, all at a medium price range, all, you know, medium scale for classiness, and just all in really fun locations. Yeah, it's they're right. so good. Yeah. Definitely try them out when mm -hmm. you're here if you have any questions. Drop it down in the comments. Yeah. We seriously read them all. We get a notification right away. We really appreciate each and every one of you. It means a lot to us that you watch our video, that you subscribe, that you comment, that you like it, everything else. We really appreciate it and value you. So subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment below and make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Otherwise, we will be back next week. See you guys. Oh.